I hereby declare that the NFT bull market officially starts today. Guys, what a massive week we have here in NFTs. Hopefully you already had this marked on your calendars, but today is the official launch of the Magic Eden Ethereum marketplace. Royalties are enforced. This Magic Eden marketplace could and should be the end of the royalty debate. Either it works or it doesn't, and we find out soon. And guys, just as big of a story on the opposite end of the royalty discussion, but the Blast Layer 2 mainnet goes live this Thursday. And with all those things said, I say yet again, you are not sufficiently bullish on what's coming here in NFTs. We got some great updates for you on the CyberKongs and their move to Ronin. Also, Pixel Vault seems to be moving homes again. And of course, we're diving into this red hot NFT market. Guys, make sure you're subscribing if you're watching here on Inside NFTs on YouTube. And make sure you're following Crypto Slam on X. With that said, guys, let's get into this NFT market. Starting, of course, with the Forecast 500 NFT index. We are up big this morning, up 2.13%. I mean, just look at this, guys. Crypto absolutely ripping again. Bitcoin up over 10%, Ethereum up 6.5%, Solana up 9.5%. Guys, you got to give crypto its time to cook. That then flows to NFTs. You'll see this play out over months. Even while we're waiting for that action, we still hit a 2024 high for NFT sales yesterday, 54.8 million. That is, of course, cross-chain NFT sales. Unique sellers continues to trend down, unique buyers trending up, and the same with total transactions. Average sale price increasing too. And man, well over that million-dollar threshold I look for in profits. Yesterday, 3.2 million in the positive. Now, as far as what's moving the market, we're looking at CryptoSlam.io. You can see the General Ordinals collection is at the number one spot. That's followed by Pandora, the Node Monkeys, Fraganas, Alvera Vesting, which may be a liquidity position, may need to get knocked off, Tensorians, CryptoPunks. We got D-Market, Milady Maker, and then the Bored Ape Yacht Club officially rounds out the top 10. And your top NFT sales, a few Autoglyph loans here in the top five, but the rest of the top 10 here, basically all CryptoPunks. Take a look at Punk number 5062 with the VR goggles and the red hair. That one's a beauty selling for almost a quarter million dollars, 74.99 ETH. My goodness, this gets me so, so excited. I pointed this out on X yesterday. Here's the market right now and where we're actually at in the cycle is back here. Guys, we have so many more buyers and sellers than that time in 2021. So much more liquidity. This is the exact pattern I expect to play out here. And guys, in my newsletter that goes out today, I dive into the topic about where we're at in the cycle. And we have an interesting opportunity that while we're early in the NFT cycle, we're also just as early, if not more early, over in the Bitcoin ecosystem. Tell you what, a very spicy opportunity over there in Bitcoin. And my prediction still is that a lot of these Bitcoin collections will have a one Bitcoin floor. I'm going to adjust this, though, and I think some of these are going to have a multi-Bitcoin floor. The great Tyler from Lucky Trader yesterday pointed out that at their peak, Bored Apes and CryptoPunks both had a nine Bitcoin equivalent floor. So guys, plenty of these collections can climb much, much higher. To me, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And that when really kicks off today, starting over on the Ethereum side. That Magic Eden Ethereum marketplace, like I mentioned, that is launching today. And like I mentioned at the start, this space for years now has been debating royalties. Should they be enforced? Should they not? And with this ETH marketplace enforcing royalties, it is time to find out once and for all, are collectors willing to pay it? Will a marketplace that enforces royalties survive? So yesterday, Yuga Labs making it official that they're sunsetting their support for marketplaces who do not support royalties for all creators. So what does that mean for their collections like the board apes and the me bits and the crypto punks those collections aren't impacted at all you'll still be able to trade those assets on any marketplace yuga labs providing a list of the collections that will be impacted these are all gaming assets the other deed land vessels the maras anything associated with their games it seems so again in my opinion this kicks off the start of this nft bull run and while that's the start we are really going to explode when the blast l2 launches this thursday this is unbelievable two billion dollars is going to get unlocked over in that blast multi-sig now trade Traders who staked money, they're all getting rewards. So the question is, is there a race to the exits with their money back in with those rewards? I think not because they're continuing to incentivize that money. Brand new PFP collections in DeFi and protocols being built out on Blast. This is going to be an explosion for the NFT scene. Get ready. And also coming Thursday is Portal Coin, which you've been seeing everybody farming for the past few months here. Again, a ton of liquidity about to hit the NFT markets here. Now, while that crazy action's going on, there's tons of other action happening on other blockchains. A big story yesterday that the CyberKongs have officially shut down Play and Collect over on Polygon, but shutting down doesn't mean it's over because these guys are bridging the game over to the Ronin blockchain. So officially after 69 seasons over on Polygon, will the OG Kongs now take in their adventure to Ronin? And guys, the CyberKongs already making their mark over on Ronin. Their Genkai collection playable in that massive Pixels game. Tell you what, the charts for both projects here looking super Kongish. We have other projects on the move. G-Funk, the founder of Battle Plan and Reboot GG and that whole Pixel 
Crystal Vault ecosystem yesterday announcing that while they had recently moved to Arbitrum, they're now looking for another new home. Now, the whole point of them living on Arbitrum was for low fees, right? Cheap gas. Well, with the activity ramping up, it certainly hasn't played out that way. My gut tells me we're going to see them over on Immutable X, but of course, I think there's other choices. Hey, maybe even Ronin. So we're here now at the start of the NFT bull market, crypto threatening to touch all-time highs here in the very near future. And as your number one enjoyer in the space here, I just got to tell you guys, when things start pumping and they get frothy, don't forget to be kind to people. And I'm talking about not just online, but IRL. Take care of people out in public. Tip big. Help other people to be enjoyers too, okay? Now today, 1 p.m. Eastern time, the NFT live crew will be live with their daily show. You don't want to miss that. And this afternoon, my weekly newsletter drops. So make sure you go to CryptoSlam.io to sign up for that. Also, check out the pin tweet over on the CryptoSlam X account. Another Zeely Sprint is live now, and we are taking snapshots, guys. And then fam, tomorrow I'll be back with you with another NFT market update. We'll hit on all the latest happenings. Remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next time, I'll see ya.